guys, welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It looks like this. And a little notification about next week. So you'll be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And Saturday we have Sweet Saturday, which is like and like some sort of vegan, delicious dessert or treat of some kind. So don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. And if you guys have been here before, you know there's something different. First of all, I have a swollen lip and I have a new piercing on my face. That's why the swollen lip, I got it done last night. Swollen lip, piercing, that's what's going on. So anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a vegan Puerto Rican coquito. So Puerto Rican coquito, for those of you guys who don't know, is basically a Puerto Rican version of eggnog. So anywho, let's get back Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So for this recipe, you're going to need just a simple handful of ingredients. And for this recipe, I'm going to be making a virgin coquito simply because I don't have rum on hand and I don't see the point of buying rum. I just, I we're not rum people, we're more beer and wine, so it would be a complete waste. So, anywho, I'm going to go ahead and make this a virgin coquito, but I'm going to tell you what you need to do to spice it up. Alright, so, first thing you're going to need is one can of coconut cream and this is a 15 ounce can it doesn't have to be like super specific if you find like a one that's a little bit more a little less it's okay and then i'm also going to be using whoa that's thick um one can of coconut milk and i like to use the goya because like it's like really nice and thick unless you also find like the the thai um coconut milk cans and this one is a 13.5 ounces and then I'm also going to be using a vegan, one cup of vegan uh, sweetened condensed milk. I have a recipe for that. I'll go ahead and link it down below. If you notice, it looked a little more watery than uh, my recipe. It's because I use almond milk when I usually use soy milk. So if you make the sweetened condensed milk recipe, stick to the recipe and use soy milk because it's thicker, richer, and you get a creamier, uh, thicker consistency for your sweetened condensed milk. And next, to replace the evaporated milk that you would put in there, um, I just filled up a can, uh, the can, the same can that I used for the coconut milk, I filled it up with uh, soy milk, um, just regular plain soy milk, um, just to get the measurement that you would get with the evaporated milk. And um, at this point, if you wanted to make it uh, with alcohol, you would add one cup of white rum, preferably Bacardi, but uh, any white rum would work. And you would do this in the blender. You could do it by hand too, but I broke my blender like two days ago, three, three days ago. So unfortunately, no blender here, but I'm going to go ahead and get a new, a new one. I just, I was like, I have to make this coquito recipe because it's so highly requested. So okay, so we're going to mix all of that up together. Next, I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and this is totally optional um, but I like to add a sprinkle of cinnamon and then mix this up all well or blend it up really well next step is of course pouring it, pouring it into a glass alright guys so you know what time it is it's time for the taste test cam and here we go. Mm. Oh, yes. That's some real coquito stuff right there. Oh, man. It's so good. You guys, go ahead. Give this a shot. Uh, make it yourself. Let me know what you think. Also, a coquito is usually not served in such big portions. So you could definitely get more than three servings from this recipe, but I just chose to put it in a big glass because I like it a lot for myself. I'm gonna keep going and drinking this, so I'll see you guys. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you make this recipe or any of my recipes and hashtag let's get veggie, hashtag veggie rose. I would love to see what you made and love to know how you liked it. And yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye guys.